Thanks, Joe Fielding. I have a simple question. What the heck are you thinking? What is in your mind? Why would you want to give out any of your personal information to a faceless corporation for the sole purpose of them selling it? Give me one good reason why Comcast should know what my mother's medical problems are. You know how they'd know? Because when I went to the doctor with her and they told me what it was, I had no clue what they were talking about. I came home and I searched it on the net. And I searched the drugs that she was taking. The same with my children. Just last week, I bought underwear on the internet. Why should you know what size I take? Or the color? or any of that information. These companies are not going broke. That's not the situation. The internet is not in jeopardy. This is plain and simple. And I, I don't get this. When I was growing up, I thought one of the tenets of the Republican Party that I admired the most was privacy. It's mine. Not yours, not the government's, mine. You can't have it unless I give it to you. My phone number, my social security number, my credit card number, my passwords, everything is mine. And yet, you just want to give it away. You make a one good argument. Let's level the playing field. And you're right. I agree with you. But you don't level the playing field by getting rid of the playing field. You level it by raising it on those who are not subject to this rule. Please give me one, not two, one good reason why all these people here, why all these people watching would want Comcast or Verizon to have information unless they give it to them. We're talking medical information. We're talking passwords. We're talking financial information. We're talking college applications. There is nothing in today's society that every one of us doesn't do every day on the Internet, and yet... Comcast is going to get it. Not because I said it's okay. And what are they going to do with it? Kind of look at it and say, oh, yeah, hey, Mike takes a size 38 underwear. That's great. They're going to sell it to the underwear companies. Hey, he bought this kind of underwear. He likes this color. Let's give him ads. By the way, most of those ads are useless because I already bought the underwear. I don't need any more. But it's none of their information. It's none of their business. Go out in the street, please. Leave Capitol Hill for five minutes. Go anywhere you want. Find three people on the street who think it's okay. And you can explain to them our ROIs and the company has to make progress and we have to make money. Gentlemen's time You'll is expired. You'll lose that argument every single time as you should. Gentlemen's time is expired. And I guarantee you, you won't find anybody in the district who The gentleman from Colorado reserves, the gentleman from Texas.